How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's been about a week since I recorded anything, and that's okay. And, um... Yeah, I have no idea where I left off at. <laughs> and I think, um... I just answered the door to that fucking spooky motherfucker. So let's try to look under the floorboards. See what happens over there. Hey, look, it's a guitar. It's awesome. Um... Under the floorboard in front of the light switch, I think. There it is. I can't pry it open with my bare hands. Alright, and he just walked out. Alright. Oh, what? What the fuck just happened? That reminded me of a... Uh, facade. If you get kicked out, but you're already, like, outside of the room. Like, he brings you back into the room, and then kicks you out. Alright, let's go outside. Let's see what's, let's see what's out here. Maybe we can leave now. Alright, we just left the apartment. Awesome. This is unexplored territory right here. Examine box. I think this box contains fire equipment. Awesome. Let's see what's blocked off over right here. The stairwell seems to have been sealed off. I wonder why. Judging by the warning tape, it, I'd say it's probably hazardous. Yeah, probably. That wouldn't be very polite. I don't want to upset our new neighbors. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now what's over here? Open right door. This door is locked. Fun. Let's go down the elevator then, I guess. Alright. Ah, I thought that might happen. Oh my fucking god, this guy is creepier than his wife. You're one of the new tenants, aren't you? Uh, that's right, Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved in across the hall from you. Why, hello there, young fella. I'm... I'm Eddie? It's either Eddie or Edie. I don't know. I'm Eddie Jones, the resident senior in this house. Okay. Seem to be having some trouble with the elevator. The door jams every once in a while. You'd probably... You'd be well advised... Blah, I can't even read right now! Ow! You'd be well advised to keep some sort of grease product handy to use in the hinges, you see. I'd lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. That's okay. I'd probably be able to find something. Uh. Sorry if I disturbed you, ma'am. Oh, that's a... Okay, so it's Edie, because it's a girl. I, could, I thought this was an old dude, but I guess it's a girl. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to see you later, Mrs. Jones. Just call me Edie. Everyone does. Bye then, Edie. Goodbye, dear. Alright, so let's find something to unbutter the elevator. Or, un unstuck the elevator. Can I? Okay. Why would I just open the door and not go inside? If I click on the door, I want you to go inside. So do we have anything in the refrigerator that can undo the elevator? Okay, refrigerator is empty. What about in the oven? I could use some cleaning. You could use some cleaning. Okay, creepy. Oh, yeah, he was just here to drop off the keys. Did you get the creepy vibe? Not as creepy as the vibe you give me. Uh, can't say I did. He still seems quite nice to me. Eh, eh, fucking <laughs> shit. Okay, maybe there's some. Maybe we can get some soap from the bathroom or something. Bar of soap. Is there a bar of soap in here? Okay, maybe I could pick up baby oil. There we go. Bam! Baby oil. Let's use the baby oil to to un unstick unstickify the uh, the elevator. Good God, does he have a mustache? Dude, that guy, he has a white mustache, man. Looking, looking swaggy right there, Mr. Victor. Okay, I hate how he just doesn't go outside when I open the door. It's gonna be a pet peeve of mine. What? <laughs> Why did I need to get the baby oil? It's it's already a fucking okay. Thank you. <laughs> what what do with baby oil? Can I, what what am I gonna? What? Okay. Now what? What do I click on to go down? Go down, goddammit. Am I just gonna? I'm just gonna stand here in the elevator and not do shit. Enter elevator. Okay. 
Now what? Now what? Well, what do now? Huh? 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 What's that? You got a wedgie? Is that your underpants flipping upside down upside your bum? Huh? You got a you got a little little stuck butt? What do I do? Do I put the baby oil in the electrical outlet? No? What the fuck do I- Ugh! Okay, maybe I don't go downstairs. Hold on, what do? Examine letter. Empty envelope. Apartment key. I don't need a key to operate the elevator, but how the fuck do I operate the elevator? Baby oil? <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, so I guess the doors are supposed to be closed, but it kind of glitched, so... Yeah, let's go down to the 4-1. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Open door. Let's see what's in here. Door's locked, so not dick. I'm over here, Mr. Neff. Just come to the hatch if you want to talk to me. Okay, I guess that's the caretaker guy. What the? What's going on over here? Talk. Oh, okay, so this is the mover people moving our shit in. Are you Victor Neff? Yeah, why, well, yes, I am. We got your sofa here. Ready and delivered. So I'll just sign the receipt and I'll leave it here in your hands. But it's blocking the entrance. Should have thought about the size when you bought it, sir. <laughs> Quite a common mistake, really. We delivered door to door, like it says right here in the contract. And technically speaking, this sofa has been delivered to a door. Oh, what the fuck? Don't buy that for a second, you're an asshole. I think you managed to get our sofa stuck in the doorway. And since you can't get it get it free, you're gonna leave it there? You call it stuck, I say it's delivered, sir. And you're content with that? I guess I am. What an asshole. When did you stop caring about your job? Help people move their furniture is my greatest passion, sir. Well, I guess I could could give you this complimentary crowbar. I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to pry this sofa free. Provided you sign the receipt, of course. Fuck! <laughs> then we'll be standing here for a very long time. And I wish to remind you, we're charging you by the hour. Oh my god! Uh, a thorough checkup is always recommended before employing someone's service. Okay. Fine! Give me the fucking goddamn receipt, you fucking squarehead fucking Picasso motherfucker. Okay, thank you for the crowbar. Signed and delivered. Personally, I'll consider this a job well done. I'm sure you do. Fucking asshole. Examine sofa. Sofa's blocking the entrance. Okay, I guess use the crowbar with sofa. Is the sofa gonna go in my inventory? Tempting, but that would seriously hurt. It seems to be permanently stuck. Okay, well I'll use the crowbar on the floorboard because Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm gonna sue these people. <laughs> Alright, let's go to floor two, because I'm pretty sure our apartment's on floor two. Yeah, it seems to be that way. Jesus Christ. This fucking milk mustache. Alright, let's go to my bedroom and use the crowbar to pry the floorboard open. That fucking douchebag. Alright. Crowbar. Floorboard. Go, go, go! Crowbar snapped in half. What the fuck? Oh, at least the thing's open. What's down here? What is this, a bomb? What is this? Okay, so I see I have to... No. There we go. Uh... There it is. What? Okay. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's good, that's good. All right, looks like we have examined fuse. Looks, looks like some kind of fuse, okay. This device seems to be where the current 
ends up. I have no idea what it does, though. Um, okay, there's no power going to this, so... Now there's power going through the entire thing, I think. The current enters through here. Okay, so that goes like that. Am I supposed to get it to, like, have all of these lit up? Because I'm pretty sure all of it's done. It measures the amount running through it. So am I supposed to... Am I supposed to figure out a way to get it, like... Like, all the way up to maximum, like, red? <laughs> like, okay. Um, I'm not very good at puzzles. I, I'm sure, like, if you watch stacking, you, you, you understand that puzzles are not my forte. Um, the circuit board has a lot of resistors on it. But I can't recall what a resistor does exactly. Does it increase or decrease the current running through it? Well, it's called a resistor, so I'm assuming it decreases the current going through it. So maybe we should do that. So let's try to get it all the way through without going to any resistors. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. Okay, there's no way. It has to go through a resistor to get through there. Um... There we go. Fuck. That's... Okay, well, we have to go through that. So let's go like that. Get it? Huh. Oh, yeah, because it has to get the power through the bottom. So let's go through there. Then it's going to... Well, I mean... Yeah, that's... we might as well have it going through all of this stuff. Actually, no, we might as well not have it going through there. Fuck, it's gonna go through here anyways. Okay. Okay, so the power's going up. Um, we don't want it going through that. But we don't want it going through... Uh, fucking... Fucking nipples. Nipples all over your fucking... Your mom. Okay. It's almost at full power. I just don't know what to do after this. Keep it going through like that. Draws power from there. This is hard. I mean, you guys might have already figured out the puzzle just by looking at it. But... I'm retarded, so... Aha! Oh, what? Fuck. Probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I could bypass it somehow. Give me the fuse. The fuse is useless now, I'll throw it away. Alright. If the device measures the amount running through, do I have anything in my inventory I could use? Let's use the key. Oh my god! Is that an actual thing that works? Too much power for the machine to handle. It's completely burned out. 